Hey, I'm back guys, this is Tan Tan here and following my last Thunder Guardian video I'm gonna sh show you how to combine these two guys together which is very simple but yet a very satisfied transformation and to keep this video short, I'm gonna begin, so let's begin now and to start transforming and combining first, I'm gonna split out this guy back into two pieces, the two machines And then what you're going to do is basically the same thing repeated twice. So first up, take this feed section and bend it towards. Then bend this whole section up. Like that. And bend them around again. And bring out this tab over here. And secondly, split again. Split out the leg and rotate that into that position. Have them together just like that and finally rotate connect this to this over here and rotate this around and we are done with the left arms of the final red tie so i'm going to repeat that again And we are done with the two arms, now let's bring in the other three machine. For the leg, first you're gonna start to have to make it taller. You see this section over here, you're gonna flip it. And then lift this guy up and connect it by holding this to a smaller leg and then just tapping it in like that. And bend out the extra heels. You will need that. And then you can bring this down now. And he is really tall at the moment. Then you can connect this Edison head onto this guy. First bring in the do it like this. Just put it back up. It's just like that. And you can rotate this, just put it onto this side from here. That is just done. Then remove the hands. And this will bend out into the wing. Kind of an a lazy, a lazy idea. And you can pick up the arms of the transform. And just simply put them in. Like that, and plug in the hand. And this connection is kind of poor because of the extra ness that the leg has, and it just looks stupid. I hate this leg design. I mean, like when combining, I feel like the symmetry is like that the wolf is like too stretched. So as a result, we have a massive arm for no reason. See what I mean over there? And you can tuck in the arm. And finally, you can bring in the helmet, which is the ass of the falcon. And position the horns, depends on how you like them. And we're done. So 
So as you can see here, this is a complete transformation and he's really tall. That is unforsized. And of course he's look very beefy with the extra arms now become the full the two individual machine become the full arms and that just look really strong and I love the way that they added the helmet onto that. This look extra strong it's like a Viking. And then the elephant head fills up the body so it makes him looks kind of buffy. From the side he still looks kind of buffy but if you look from this angle here, this massive leg showing up is just looks stupid and the wings are way too small. So that is my only complaint about this mode. Other than that it will be the weapon. Now that I will show you the weapon. For the weapon first take up the bodies of the bird and split it and position it reposition it like that and bring out the handle and then take the elephant nose and just plug it back on here and there we go and turn it around and there as you see this here will become one over here and the other and then use this point piece over here to connect them together and then that is done and in the movie that transformed into an axe that the idea was nice but in execution they failed it so I pretty much hit this weapon and of course you can hold it by this two handle over here you can try to have him handle it like this that form an axe but this tends to Size comparison wise, here we have this guy next to Master Grid RX78 and next to MPM Optimus. So, after looking at this guy, after purchasing him, to be honest, I was really curious about what Japanese doing with their Super Sentai Deluxe Robot toy line. But then I get the reason because design like this would only suitable for one per season. This is like they are only using this one and there will be no further chance of upgrade or anything like that. But then the Bandai philosophy of producing toys is you produce one make and you produce other option of set. So the buyers have variety of options instead of trying to sell two, two robots. So that is an on and off design because when they chose to have design like this, it then results in a very focused and good looking bot with nice transformation. But then as for Bandai, they would have to compromise a lot of things in order to get their sales. And I totally understand why since the live action series costs more than the normal CGI series like by clones. So that will be done for this video right here. I won't say anything much, but if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe and follow my Instagram. Until now.